Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you my two high intensity discharge fixtures turning on at once. Why may I ask? Because today is my first year anniversary of making high intensity discharge light bulb videos on my YouTube channel. So, June 11th, 2019 is when I first started making um, high intensity discharge light bulb videos on my YouTube channel. And 365 days later, which is a year later, is my first year anniversary. But anyways, what a better way to celebrate my first year anniversary of making high intensity light bulb videos is we're going to turn them all at once and there's sadly going to be only two high intensity discharge fixtures and bulbs that are included in the fixtures. But anyways, let's go ahead and see what bulbs and fixtures that are going to be featured in this video. So anyways, on the left is my Philips 175 watt probe start metal halide bulb. I got this bulb in April of 2019 at a Home Depot store and um, it was actually really kind of expensive, it was like $20. So it was kind of expensive, but anyways, I have used it, as you can tell by the arc tube, it's a, kind of blackened, but it still has a good amount of lifetime on it. Anyway, um, that's, for th that's it for that one, and the fixture that I'm using for it, it's a custom fixture I made, it's the M57 right there, and that's the ballast right there that operates the lamp. And then anyways, on the right is my Sylvania mogul based high pressure sodium bulb. And it's a 70 watt lamp according to the arc tube and the etch on the bulb. So it says Lumilux LU70, ballast ASNI code. And um, this produces 6300 lumens and this one produces 14,000, which is brighter than the high pressure sodium bulb. But anyway, um, this is a mogul based bulb and as you can see, as you can see, I'm using an adapter for it. And the fixture that I'm using to run it is my old Regent 70 watt high pressure sodium area light that I got at a restore in Tempe, Arizona for $8. I got it in March of 2019, so I've had it for a, quite a while actually. I've had it for 15 months. So anyways, I'm gonna, those are the fixtures. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I already have my welding goggles on because these bulbs are extremely bright. So the way that we're gonna turn them on is first I'm going to turn on my metal halide bulb and then I'm going to turn on my high pressure sodium bulb. So basically the metal halide bulb is going to be turned on first and once the arc is stabilized in the arc tube and after that I'll turn on the HPS lamp. So anyways enough of me talking let's turn on the metal halide lamp first. Here we go! Anyway, the lamps are at full brightness and it is really bright in this room here. So you can see that the bulbs mix in and they give off a color temperature around 3500K or neutral white because the high pressure sodium bulb is 1900K 
this particular one, um, really. And the bulb, the metal halide lamp gives off 4000K, or cool white. So it mixes in, makes it neutral white. And I also made a list of all the ballast types. So there you go. So anyways, I really hope you enjoyed my first year anniversary video on making high intensity discharge bulbs. And um, yeah, so anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thank you all very much for watching.